thing is. It's, it was, yes, uh, thank you. Out of the spice. See you later. <laughs> yeah, send me, send me a shit later. Uh, yep. I got business to take care of. We'll see you guys later, right? Uh, sure. Later, brother. Thanks for playing. Uh, see, see, you. The pleasure. see you later. And then there were three. Mm. Well, it's four. Four of us, plus Sasonia, whatever. So you guys go down to the testing range, which is honestly just an empty, it's just an empty like, like there's, you can see the dirt there. There's like rocks that are like been put through the place there. It's like sort of like a Zen garden, except for bullets. experimental purposes. <laughs> well, not just bullets, it's other stuff too. Experimentation. Okay, mm -hmm. so any one of you magically inclined? Oh, um, me, I guess. Awesome. She, she underhand chucks one of the, the snap rocks at you. Oh god, okay. You catch ah, it. Ah. Okay, D don't do anything yet, don't do anything yet. And she just... Like, that's like, uh, it's like throwing like, uh... Like a baseball, she just... <laughs> just chucks it far range down the experimental range. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it lands perfectly next to a, a training dummy that's right there. Okay. Now. Pretend as if you are trying to hit that target. That target is like 200 feet away, which, by the way, speaks a hell of a lot for her throwing potential. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she just uh. yeets it out there. Pretend like you want to hit that target. You can't hit it from here. I know magic doesn't go that far. I'm a mage too. But pretend like you could. Try uh, casting something. Okay, I'll just do. Just concentrate. Magic, uh, mis magic missile. Yeah, so you. Just sort of cast magic missile out from the hand that's holding the snap rock. And then you guys see way down, 200 feet down next to the training dummy, at the foot, at the where the feet of the training dummy is, are, whatever. Mm -hmm. Three magic missiles just, just blast it immediately, as if you were standing there. You see uh, Tanem suddenly, his, he, gets, he gets suddenly very pale. Can I keep this? <laughs> You see, you look down, as you said, I can't keep Sigurd gone now. The, the sort of ruining, rune carvings on it are gone. One time oh. use, I'm afraid. Prototypes. Oh. Well, that's bulls. Okay. And you are going to like this. And she, like, slips on a glove as <laughs> she says that, Sandra. Mm -hmm. Actually, wait. It's like this, like, um, it's, uh, it's just sort of like, um, it's sort of like an archer's glove. I eat. Hey, there's, oh, he's here for, to hear the cool experimental stuff. Uh, it's sort of like an archer's glove, so it just has the thumb and the two fingers. And then mm -hmm. she's like, actually, she un un undoes the uh, looping on it. You put it on. Uh, put it on your non-dominant, non-shooting hand. Might I ask why? You'll see. Just put it on. Ah, uh, fine. It's not cursed, I swear. <laughs> I just like have it, my hand almost in the glove, and then they say it's not cursed. It's like you said that to me once too, and it wasn't after we cast Greater Restoration on you, duh. <laughs> Do we have access to that capability currently? Just in case. Uh, she holds up a hand. <laughs> okay, I put the glove on. She gives you a wink. The okay. medical wing is not far. That's also true. See, you'll be fine. So, mm -hmm. load those rounds up. Mm -hmm. load, the snap, load the snap rounds up. And she points at a different uh, t a training dome that's closer. Now shoot it. I. She comes her ears. Uh, <laughs> should I, I use fan the hammer? Fuck move. it, I'm gonna use fan the hammer to try and do both shots you at once. You have two shots, you can, yeah, you can just... Yeah, boy. I also cover my ears. The AC is like 10. So. 10? Let's see me miss. <laughs> okay, that one didn't miss. And... That one missed! Shit, if I, did, <laughs> if I didn't use the ability, I wouldn't have had the shot in the first place, so whatever. Uh, I mean, it's fine. It just veers off and hits the dirt somewhere. Nice first shot. Uh, I've seen better seconds, mostly because I hit the target. Alright, so, you just, so congratulations, you just hit a training dummy. I know it's a big accomplishment, but look what happens now. Try snapping with your left hand now. They do so. You, you Thanos snap. <laughs> As you do so, you see that simultaneously the round that's now embedded in the dirt of the training range and the round embedded in the training dummy both detonate. Oh. <sighs> She's just very excited. It's just like, they're explosive bullets. <laughs> they are explosive bullets. Special cartridge and everything. See, the sympathetic part of the sympathetic network thing 
just simply means that something that happens here will also happen over there. So, in the case of, if you uh, justice or wise, in the case of our fine horned friend here, cast a spell on one end, out goes spell on other end. So, as long as you are maintaining targeting, if she taps this temples, her temples, it will go through. Now, since you may or may not be a mage, and we have a lot of fine boys and girls here with guns, I decided to put a bit more general use. So, the snap rounds actually are. Basically, tiny explosives. Again, special cartridge and everything. The snap on your finger, you'll note, is a bit... I'm not sure if you saw it. It caused sparks. Spark in there, on your hand. Spark over there, inside the round. Blows up. Explosive rounds. You make it sound very simple, but I feel almost... like this took a lot of effort. Oh, it did. <laughs> and a lot of fucking coffee. Do you know what sleep is? No. Oh, not that makes anymore. Sense. Mm. It's a long forgotten concept. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it is. I look, yeah. I look, I look at the stone and Infajar, and sort of almost to myself, I say, Parakeet would fucking murder for that stone. She doesn't say anything. She just goes quiet. So, those are my fun little toys. <laughs> what was that little stone thing called again that you gave me? Well, they're. The type of these are just called snaps, and I guess that would be a snap rock, and those are snap shots. Simple as that. Snap rock. Okay, cool. Thank you. I can give. I have one more spare prototype left. I always keep a template. You always, actually, I always keep three templates, but you know, d don't mind that. Triple kit. Charlotte really rubs off. So, but yeah, mm. I got a spare. I can give it to you guys in the next expedition out. As for the rounds, on the other hand, I'm afraid I only got. Those things are actually probably harder to make, if I'm being honest. Interesting. Yeah. Wait, what if you snap your fingers while it's in the gun? I recommend you definitely don't do that. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Very just shoves you of his elbow. I fucking told you. <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, it could be useful if you throw the, if you're desperate and you just throw the fucking gun. It's basically a grenade. I am impressed that you managed to create a glove that you can snap your fingers with. It's the material. Mm. It's a bit like sandpaper, but uh, mm, some metallic alloy uh, chiseling down. It's a lot. Surprisingly comfy. Hmm. I know, right? I just sat in there. Also makes it really hard to clean, so I don't recommend putting it on all the time because then it gets dirty and smelly. But as you're into that sort of thing, I don't judge. Only slightly, actually. But uh, yeah, fun. Actually, she looks up at her own balcony area, and then she looks over at the corner where her, uh, I guess, rival is. I guess at this point there's nothing left I got to show you. So, on your way out, come see me. I'll give you some more snaps. But a you should go talk to Darren. A most impressive display. Thank you. I aim to please. I... Always I always aim for showy shows of force. I bow deeply and say, uh, I thank you kindly for this weaponry. <laughs> and now we gotta go. Kiss ass. <laughs> I'm being polite! Kiss ass. No! <laughs> I'm just gonna go down, you know down. No, 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 you should save the ass kissing for the heretic. <laughs> hmm. Is his name actually Mr. Heretic? No, but he is a heretic. But he's our heretic. He's your special little heretic. That you keep in the corner and don't fix it. He sh she shrugs. He helped save the town a few years back, so... Who will we to complain? Sounds take all. I'm not so sure about that out here. But we'll see. Give it some time. We'll go talk to him. What does Snapshot stand for again? She did Synaptic Network Assault, and she doesn't know what the last letter stands for. <laughs> I'm gonna Better try and think of one. Day. Projectile! God, that's so limp! Yeah. Simple! Oh my god! Does she just have an epiphany like right then? Yeah, she, you guys hear her say that? And she's like, PROJECTILE! <laughs> Good to know! Alright, I am not gonna remember that. No, I have it typed. Oh, brilliant. Named Sympathetic, nice. by the way. The impetus for that is from Name of the Wind, where their magic is called Sympathy. <laughs> ah, yes. So yeah. We need to get wise a slingshot. <laughs>
Well, technically, any mage could use it. That's the catch. Anyone okay. that casts any sort of magic can use it. So, in technicality, if you had a touch spell and you gave the rock to someone, you can cast a touch spell on them. Ooh. It's mostly, like, so they can actually get some range on it and not have to chuck it. Yeah, yeah, fair. Mm. I personally would, like... It, it functions in the same way as um, the cleric, the trickster cleric's ability. Mm. The, the, Where uh, they can dub, cast the their double. Gainer, the duplicity. Dub, duplicity. The dupli yeah, invoke duplicity. Or, at the same time, also familiar. Familiar can also do something duplicity. similar. So, you guys uh, go Put over it to somewhere, the cast a fireball. Good, yeah, you could use it as literally a magical landmine. <laughs> Keep in mind that they're limited use, one time use. I might give you guys powerful tools, it's up to you guys to figure out when. Oh, Anyways, you guys go to the quote unquote shit corner <laughs> that um, Anastasia described. It's actually its own walled off double story room, or tower, I guess. Um, all self-contained. So he very much does have his own little corner. Hmm. And you guys go inside and it's... The curtains are drawn, you can't see in, and you guys go over and... <laughs> oh, about time. <laughs> he he just uh, lets the door stay open and he just walks back inside himself. I step in. Uh, he's just complaining the whole time as you... Entering, closing the door behind you. Let me guess, she gave you some convoluted contract to test out in the field. Am I right? They're explosive bullets. Explode. Some convoluted contraption, yes. So thank you for proving my point. Hey, I, I do finger guns and almost have my fingers and then realize I have the glove on. Yeah. I, I take the glove off and shove it under my hat. <laughs> Might I ask what is your name or do you prefer Mr. Heretic? <laughs> they are always calling me that. My name is Darren. Darren Corret. I will type that out for you if you guys. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Darren Corret. Like Corret? Well, I guess about fine. Yeah. Correct. Correct, not correct. There's no extra. Yeah, not correct. There. Although he probably assumes he's correct, but no. <laughs> but I'm Tisk. Welcome really? to my little space here. Whatever you do, don't look at the mirror. In the I promise you what will happen up if you do. Well, see, now I want to look in the mirror. You be my guess. I simply don't know what happens. I think it changes every, every other time. You should do it. Uh, I guess. You said you wanted to. to. Might as well just do it. I wouldn't do it personally. <laughs> Fair remarks. Uh, is, that, is that your fell god mirror, Darren? <laughs> Rifle boy, of course. Very cool his eyes. Well, what happened last time someone looked into it? Yeah, there's still stolen. Okay, that's mighty what impressive. Time after? Before the time before that, I think uh, what happens? Scorn can uh, nope. No, no, no. I think the image in the mirror left, and that was it. Okay, so that's not too bad. We okay. haven't seen them since. And that person has now lost the reflection permanently. That is uh, creepy. Unexpected. He shrugs. Yeah, I don't know if we're looking anymore, guys. Somebody else would. Where they turned into a vampire? <laughs> no, they were. No, we checked for vampirism. Nothing. Heh. <laughs> well, Mr. Darren, perhaps you would uh, find pleasure in solving a puzzle Anastasia could not. <laughs> there are many puzzles she can't solve. Why would I want to? Oh. <laughs> I, I do that on a daily the... basis, but go on, go on. You have me in a good mood. I, I hold out the the sick ass fuck. Marble. No, the sick sick ass marble. Okay. Ass <laughs> marble. Okay, okay. Sick ass marble. <laughs> sick of. Sick of marble. Yeah, the sick of hmm. marble. Oh, and what is this? And he just just grabs it from you. <laughs> he like palms it like a like an American person palms a baseball. They he t they sort of pops into the air, catches it as if it's like a toy. What is? By the way, do these two people wear lab coats? Um, he is dressed in more fine attire, but he does like something uh almost like a flak vest underneath, although it's covered in like a more uh, like a uh, 
resistant surface, so something that could resist like flame and liquid and stuff like that. Mm. But other than that, he's dressed normally. Um, Anastasia is, was dressed like full on like lab gear, uh -huh. lab gear, protective gear, and stuff like that. But other than goggles or hearing protection, which is ironic, is there how she just told you to shoot a gun? But whatever. She covered her ears. She knows what she's doing. Yeah. <laughs> you, you you tell that to the boys in boot camp. Just cover your ears while you're firing <laughs> next to the firing gun. Oh, you'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, so she's also now, probably I'm running on. Saying. She's running on like three days of sleep or no sleep and all coffee. So it's like I also assume her judgment's a little skewed. Anyways, mm. that's anyway. Intravenous coffee. Intravenous coffee. Hmm. I'm assuming at this point she's... Coffee drip. Yeah. No. And she what exactly it. did she say about this thing? She has no idea what the fuck it is. <laughs> she says I mean, that it will upgrade something. Yes, I can def... He's like sort of walking away from you guys, sort of deeper and deeper into his own little abode here. And then as he turns around, you see his eyes are just sort of black. And sort of just emitting darkness. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Yes, certainly will do that. Upgrade weapons, armor even. Interesting. What purpose does it serve though? Why it goes through so much trouble and puts so much energy into a confined thing just to? This is a waste of time. You could just upgrade that. Well, I suppose. Hmm. If you are traveling and you're looking for something to upgrade at the end of it that you do not have access to now, doing this would be handy. But at that point. Might as well just take over that second place and set up shop and upgrade yourself. Whatever. It's definitely something otherworldly. Mm, nothing of the void, I can tell you that for free. Mm, doesn't have the... Uh, <laughs> spits off on the ground. Ooh. Intrinsicies of fairies. And it does really doesn't have the motif or screaming nature. He says this while shaking it next to his ear. Of the devils. Why do they specifically no, have a scream in nature? You'd be surprised about devils. Many deals have people screaming. Hmm. And I don't mean that as a joke. I mean that quite literally. Mm -hmm. hmm. Something related to the true gods, perhaps? Oh. There'd only be only a couple of true gods related in upgrading items, and not Forge Bringer, not Vernier. Definitely has the energy essence of something like Vernier, though. I will give it that. This has to be related to some fell god that's not aligned to any particular archetype. Not Void, not Devil, not Fairy, not True. Something loose, which puts this as an independent resource, truly. He gives it back to you, Tanum. He's like walks. He's been walking around in circles this whole time. He gives it back to you. Could have been a new one. <laughs> <laughs> if a fell guy came into existence, that would be concerning. I mean, it's all new continent. <laughs> that is fair. Perhaps it's something new to this continent. That being said, fell gods often do a very good job seeking out their own. And keep in mind that fell gods are not beholden to just this realm. We are. Fairies don't have to care of. They're throwing Cathalta, Laura, or Moranis. They just go to the Fey Wilds and go between the two easily. Hmm. At least these days you do. So I'd say that you'd be safe to use that without any particular, how to say, ire from any other fellow beings. I'd keep it tucked away, though. Don't show it off. Not all servants of fell gods are as benevolent as me would it how does it how does it work what would i do yes <laughs> would you like to use it now i can do it for you i suppose an example is if we find more in the future you'll need some sort of very specific cutting apparatus Cutting into a vessel filled with energy is a very dangerous process. It'll either destroy the vessel or destroy you and the vessel. So it's something of a very dangerous weapon you're holding. That being said, if you do it in a expedient of manner with the relevant item to another hand, perhaps the energy jump into that item. And then I draw, no harm. I, I draw my blade and hand it to him uh, uh, hilt first. He snaps his finger, and then the flame on it goes 
that won't do. <laughs> he basically casts a spell magic. Sets it down. Well then, he holds up his hand to re-receive the um, re-receive the uh, enhancement gem. Or my bad, the sicketh marble, as we're calling it now. <laughs> the sicketh. <laughs> the sicketh marble. Do you want me to upgrade it or not? Go for it. He goes over to a table and opens up uh, basically like a toolbox that's built into the tabletop itself. So you pull it up and then it just sort of racks up and out. And then he grabs an item and sort of like a scalpel, except it has a much longer blade than a scalpel normally would. And he mutters some words to, under his breath and begins glowing. This sort of very faint purple. And then he just very carefully begins etching it, like just the, like just along its uh, circumference, just etching it slowly. Uh, to everyone except Tanum, it looks like he's basically nothing except making noise. But to Tanum, you can see from just from your uh, background that he is he is carving into it, very slowly, very gently, very gradually, but he is carving into it. And then a few moments pass, and you guys hear a. And there we have it. <laughs> you have then... very skilled hands. Have you ever considered making a jewelry? <laughs> you would make a fine gem cutter. No, thank you. I have plenty of. He points at the mirror. Other things to work on. Understandable. And then he sort of begins like start twisting it. And then you see it actually does slide. The, even though he only etched the outside of it, the entire top half begins sliding with it. And then he... And then basically has two ends now. And then from these ends, like shortest distance possible, point A to point B, there's just ma raw magical end. Just in this loop, just... If you might be so kind as to help me with this. Certainly. The upgrading of your weapon. <laughs> just hold out the blade. I do so. And then he just sort of runs the blade through the sort of arcing energy and just... And you see slowly but surely the energy becomes less and less and the glowing ends that he's holding on to stop glowing bit by bit and then until he basically is just holding a crystal ball that has nothing in it it's completely ah. translucent like the little orbiting things in it are gone cool all right and then he sets the those aside now if i might see the blade i present it your blade is just even the part even the blade or the even the not blade part so the hill and the cross guard and everything it's glowing and it's just, it feels like it's, all it did is move Vestals, because this also feels like it's just ready to burst. Last, but certainly not least, he gets a pen, and then pricks his thumb, and begins writing. Or begins, like, prepping himself to write something, and then he looks up at you. Is there anything you'd like to call this? Anything you want to represent? Hmm. Sand. Sand. Rides with his own blood on the blade, and it just begins hitting that energy and then just getting fused onto it. He writes in a language that you don't understand. But as he lets the pen uh, of the last character go, the blade just. Almost Chris like gets like a sort of crystallized surface, as if it's about to like just make a sword version of the things he was just holding, and then it <laughs> shatters and dissipates. He holds the blade out to you. There you have it. Very interesting thing that. Thank you. Sand. Interesting name. 
Be careful when you name your blades. You never know what the, when they might come up and start doing stuff. Trust me. <laughs> he puts the pen away. Hmm. I'd say try it out, but you already know where the testing range is, and I don't particularly care. Hmm. You have my thanks, Mr. Darren. Make no mention of it. If you got another one of those orbs, come by and see me. I have this sneaking suspicion, consider it a fun whisper in my ear from a friend of mine, that there are different types of those orbs. Ooh. Okay. Indeed. Does the, uh, crash, does the glow, like, before he inscribed it, does that remind me at all of the glow you mentioned on the weaponry of the Scornkin? Um, no. The glow of the Scornkin was much more like... It wasn't like a neon blade sort of situation. It's like just the axe heads of them just sort of just gave off the sort of luminescence. Sort of like casting the light spell on something. The the mm. light from this thing was like it wasn't just the light spell. It was more like a daylight spell or something like that. It was super bright and honestly hard to look at. Almost like welder welding lights. Okay. Mm. By the way, don't look at welding lights. That shit is actually game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just, you get yeah. cancer in your eyeballs. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if there's nothing else. Oh, right. <laughs> All the excitement of that thing, I forgot. The thing you guys left with me. And he goes over to like this sort of, this sort of two prong little holder. It's like something that holds like a, like a katana or something, like a rack. And he grabs a claw. Oh. I, I bet you guys are curious about this. Very much so. Indeed. He, he sits on the table in between you guys. Whoever examined its initial assumption was, well, quite correct. It has enough energy in it to, I don't know, petrify a small creature. I was going to test it, but I got told not to. <laughs> he shrugs. Shame. Shame. Okay. But regardless, it should be enough. Nonetheless, if you stab something with it, not only will you need a wound with it, it'll likely how to say, corrupt them, or infest them, or uh, what's the best way? Convert? Convert. Um, it attempts to convert. This doesn't have enough energy, I don't think. This will attempt to sort of disseminate out its energy in the person. Uh, like the skin stinger of a scorpion. Something like that, yes. Like venom inside you. That's what this will do. Uh, again, its end goal was initially to corrupt and convert, petrify. Uh, but it no longer can do that, it just simply doesn't have the energy. I can tell you, though. Uh, I, I got given, I was given a copy of reports. This is not a natural feature for anything. Not physically, usually. And certainly not people. So whatever caused this, and he taps the claw. It was a manufactured result. One well, that I personally did... think could have been <laughs> better done, but what do I know? We did learn a thing or two about how it was made. Are you interested? Certainly. Perhaps I can start doing something similar, but not to blades. Fine, Toxin. Sa Sandra, I believe you have the associated uh, information written down, yes? In the journals? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have those in my bag. I Is would take this out. Yeah, I was holding onto them. Yeah. Was that yeah, a yeah. Sam? I wasn't sure. No, I think I had them, then I passed over. They're two journals, so... I think you had yeah. the, the... I had the one lab it, one. Yeah, Sandra the lab had the lab one. one. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you had the lab journal to him. Hmm. Uh, the comforting scrawlings of a madman. Well, this is quite nice, and she pages through it decently lengthy, but I simply don't have time to read this. But I have a better solution. He turns and yeets the fucking book into the mirror. <laughs> it Does it break the mirror? Phases into it. No, it just... As if it was a, a formerly still watery surface. It just... Oh. Where the fuck did you get this mirror? When still want to look into it? That we'll only makes me want to look into it more. Well, go for it then. Go, go, go. I'm also very afraid of what the fuck will happen. <laughs> <laughs> it 
And just so you know, this mirror is like it's like a tall mirror. It's like a person. Mm. It's like a vanity. So, someone is we have a few of those in the home. Hey, give me a sec. Damn it! Still not thirty. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna. The reroll is just like, oh hey, this thing caught it their interest again. It's like mm, no. Yeah. Oh, Does anything happen to, to the mirror? Does it spit it back out or no? Oh, he's doing stuff. Uh, yeah, like, what if it sucks you in and you never come back in again? One person, it stole their soul. The other one, it just stole their reflection. There's like two very different ends of the scale here. One is yeah. like, eh, the other one's like, uh. <laughs> well, I think we should uh, procure a volunteer and send him to the <laughs> I feel like it's gonna Fine. boil down to okay. You look in the mirror. Roll a d100. See what the fuck happens. And it's like yeah. to, to quote Sam Regal, "Find me a small boy." <laughs> small, find me a child. <laughs> I mean, O is in here. Oh, true. I think we have a volunteer. <laughs> Isn't that right, Rainy? We do. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go. Off you go. <laughs> Okay, oh, crap, 35. Me, yes. 96! God! Sandra, why are you getting lucky with the survival instinct that says don't look in the mirror? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're fine. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Yeah, Who's good. the dumbest of them all? <laughs> <laughs> I think we have our answer. <laughs> I'm trying. I might just have him look into it anyways, just because, like, I am so curious what's gonna happen. But I think it probably won't be good no matter what. Yeah, I know. I can resist anything but temptation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. Hi. Alright, so where we leave off? I think he yeeted the book into... Into the portal. The, the portal. Yes. The mirror. Yes, the mirror. What, what, ha what happened to the book? We need to know. <laughs> so you know whether to look into the or not. <laughs> That's literally the only reason why there's a bunch of D100 rolls. I, I figured, I figured. I saw her there. Anyways, um, so he yeeted the book into the mirror. And then you guys all just sort of look, like, like are staring at this tall standing vanity mirror. And then you look back at him, and he just, like, he's like this unamused, like, like, whatever expression on his face. He's, what? What? Is there anything gonna happen? Really, 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 really. Give us some time. Mm. He takes time. Oh. Some silence was the room, and you guys are just sort of awkward standing there. So, what led Let's you to this point in life? <laughs> My god. Which one? Ah! <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Mm, that's why Eric, I asked. How is Abigail? Why do you want to know that? We're first oh, waivers, yeah. I thought I'd ask. She's fine. And her uncle? It's fine as well. Mm. <laughs> Some more, very awkward silence built. And then eventually, finally, um, a figure steps out from the portal. Ooh. It looks exactly like Darren. With the exception of he's just all darkness. So like you know how like Link has Dark Link? <laughs> he has that. It's sort of like that, except even more dark. It's basically like a walking silhouette. But you can still see like relatively some features, like sleeves, jacket, stuff like that. And then the figure walks over out of the mirror over to Darren. So dark Darren and normal Darren. And then they he's the figure that emerged begins talking to him in some language you guys don't know. Hmm. Interesting. And the figure uh, puts down the journal and then <laughs> walks back into the mirror. I thought he said he didn't know what happened. I know what, what happens, happens when I look into it. Uh, I don't know what happens okay. for you. I'm a servant of the gods. Uh, you guys aren't. That's interesting, though. I wouldn't have expected that. Here's the thing. There are, again, like a hundred pages in that journal. That figure said like three sentences. Here's your bridge version. <laughs> Something like that, I guess. Majorly but condensed. <laughs> trapped a scornkin in the apparatus, forced it. There's a lot of potentialities that can go wrong in that. The TLDR. What happened to the person? What happened to him? 
You mean the remains? Or the old lab guy? The road I road. simply am inquiring about what happened. To Sorry, what happened? Who you cut out? I'm simply inquiring as to what happened to the person. Um. The creator? Yes. We yes. have no idea. Oh. Ah. He was caught off guard by something, right? Ah, so he's likely dead. <laughs> Most likely, we just didn't find the body. Uh, dirty traitors. <laughs> to be fair, we didn't really look, actually. The, the, uh, well, you found him in the, the basilisk, yes? They probably ate him. Yes. I would assume he ate him. Mm. The oh, letter was empty. I'm quite intrigued as to the... Hmm. Hmm. You... You found that gem, the one you just gave me, the enhancement stone. You found that and the stone in the same location, yes? Correct. Well, it's like, yeah, they're in different rooms, but yeah. Close enough. Yeah. You've been finding any more research things, and he taps the journal top. Look around, look into them. I think, I think whoever made those gems is following th this person's master. Okay. Intriguing. To tell Very you, different topics. if you would like to test that claw, it could, in theory, have left with us, but it could stay here. <laughs> I'm not in any <laughs> utter urge to do such. Take it with you. I heard you're going to be one of the first expeditionary teams out, so you might not have a need for it. Uh, are we going to look into the bracelet or the tarot cards, by the way? Yes, the things that uh, this book mentioned, yes. Mm. What did it say about the cards? Like, were they used for something, or...? As far as I was informed, which was the entirety of the journal, he created some sort of... how to say... symbiotic enchanting. Or, rather, not symbiotic. Connected enchanting. You need one to work the other. From what I... I am going to assume you have a bracelet and tarot cards. Mm hmm. One one requires the other. Simple as that. Hey, someone get back. That's so, how. One requires the other, and perhaps they might react to other th would have reacted to other things in wherever you found all this. A nexus based enchanting, one might say. Handy. Certainly something that. People stuck in locations do if they have magical powers. Happens all the time. Most often seen through traps. Nexus enchanting. Uh, is that relating to the door? Or is that. I don't know what door you're speaking of, but sure. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. He got your uh, first report, he doesn't have your second report. Okay. There was like a magic door that we had to get through to get to the. And the were link. these cards involved? They were. Yes. Well, there you have it then. <laughs> it's not terribly uncommon that people that own the place, he does that in quotation marks, <laughs> make some sort of mm, disabling key. So basically, so long as the key is around, the traps don't go. Or some people that are more paranoid say, as long as I wear this key and it's in proximity to the traps, they don't work. Okay. It has been a, a pleasure, Mr. Uh, Darren. I will take your suggestion and go to the... and try the, the, the sword. Hmm. Have fun. If you find any more of those gems, come back. Ne worries. Alright. Oh, and tell Anastasia to start wearing some facial protection when she begins testing things. She's gonna lose her face that way. Oh, I thought she didn't care. She rolls his eyes. I don't, but imagine what sort of idiot will be put in charge if she died. Hmm. I will let her know on the way out. Uh, to be honest, I've got a feeling she's so hyped up in coffee she probably wouldn't even notice. Uh, that's exactly why she should wear a facial protection. Yeah. <laughs> How many times has she lost her eyebrows? None, as far as I'm aware. Oh, that's as impressive. As I've been around. Yeah, that's quite impressive. Alright, so... She usually has some shield going. But go on then, don't let me keep you. Alright, off we go. I find a training dummy to whack with the sword. 
you now have a plus one sword. Magical. Nice. On the way out, I look in the mirror, because I can't help it, I need to know what happens. <laughs> it's, the mirror's not next to the door, it's off in its own corner. You actually have to go- ah. Do you? I hate, I hate the fact that I think Sandra would have enough- Enough survival instinct to say no, but- Please I'd go, please go. I'm are gonna, you sure I'm gonna, about I'm gonna, that? I'm gonna encourage God, you, please. Fuck you, dice! Okay, fuck, I'm just gonna look in the thing. I'm just gonna look at the thing, because I want to know what happens to the thing. Okay, I, I encourage this. Oh, whoops, sorry about that. Then you move into Whisper Step. Sure. Let's see how bad this goes. Hi. So, Hi. Sandra, you, you go look in.